Yes, boss. Morning, everyone. How you doing today? Well, I'm in London, obviously. I'm about to drive down to, you know, the shopping center just to buy a few clothes. Whoa, what's wrong with the car? not going to re reverse. My driving is ter it's getting terrible. Anyway, let me turn down the heating so so that you can hear me clearly. You know, as most of you or some of you know me, that I speak very very softly, so I don't shout. I can't shout. You gave me yes, boss. Anyway, I just want to talk about um, profession. In every profession you do, you will experience something. Something positive and something negative. But today, I just want to focus on DJ. A profession that I mean, I've been in for the past 30 years, both uh, in the UK and uh, in Nigeria. And obviously, I have to say this, uh, I was in a professional DJ in Nigeria, but I was just doing beats. I was trying my best, basically. But I became professional when I arrived in the UK. So, started DJing in the UK in the late 80s. So, if you want to count, then you will know that it should be, I think, should be 30, um, I don't know, I don't know. But in total, it's over 30 years, Nigeria plus UK. That's all I say. Because uh, I, I just don't want to quote anything that, you know, is going to incriminate me. <laughs> I'm really joking. Anyway, back to the topic. Um, I experienced something. Actually, we have been experiencing this for a very, very long time. But it just shocked me recently that, you know, this thing still continues in the, I mean, we're in 2015 now, and imagine if something that has been going on in our business is still continuing up till now. I thought people should have changed, you know, things should have got better, you know, but it's still happening. You know, as a DJ, sometimes when you go to DJ, there's this competition among DJs, you know, one DJ want to steal the shine, want to steal your shine, they want to be more popular, they want to perform better than you. There's nothing wrong with it, yeah? But it's how you do it. It's how you do it. You can let your music do the talking, but you don't have to technically mess up another DJ. This happened with so many DJs and I actually experienced it too. You know, I was taking over from my DJ, you know. Obviously, it could be intentional and it might not, but I'm just saying that is what actually happened. The DJ I was, uh, that was playing before me was using, you know, CDs, it doesn't use Serato. You know, not that I'm perfect in Serato as well, but I just started using it because uh, I refused to use Serato for a very long time. But now I think I'm just going with the flow. You get me? I'm just going with what everyone is doing now. You get me? So, anyway, so this DJ is very, very hard for me to see uh, the bus coming because. Uh, that vehicle's blocking my view, but I have to be careful. So, pardon me for that. Um, I just pause. Anyway, I'm back. Yeah, the DJ was using CD because he doesn't use Serato. So, uh, the DJ who played before him had to set that up. So then when it was my turn, I, when that DJ, I must emphasize on this, when that DJ was performing, you know, people were not dancing. They 
floor was empty. People were just standing, you know, they were bored. And people were pushing me there. Oh, DJ Ali, go and take over, go and take over. Everybody wants to listen to you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You are the one who can hype up the place. You, can't, you are the one who can bring people to the dance floor. Obviously, the pressure was on me as well, you know, because it was a big dance. You understand? The place, the club was packed. So, but it don't bother me. You understand? Because all I'm just going to do is do my best. I'm from my experience. I know what to do. The right thing to do. Look at my eyes like, like fish eye, gray fish eye. See? <gasps> anyway, so when DJ was coming up, the previous DJ before him so had to set up the equipment back to Serato. But the connection was totally wrong. It was so wrong that I could not even control the mixer. The, the, it was just terrible. I could not control the volume. The volume was just all over. But you know when people, you know when they're changing over, first of all, they set up the other side because the previous DJ is coming off from that side. So they set me up on Serato on this side. So. I just played the first tune, you know. The first tune got everybody mad. Everybody was on the dance floor. So, of course, I knew I did it. So I just have to do a follow-up music. So I set up the music. I can't even remember. I think it was my woman, my everything that I started the tune with, you know. And you know that is a hit, you know. So, anyway. Um, I think uh, yeah 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 okay sorry there's a bit of traffic here so I had to direct the other vehicle to go through anyway so on this road there's always traffic because there are cars or cars are always parking on both sides of the road and this road is so narrow you know how london road is anyway but i don't know why the government is not doing anything about it but that's another story for another day you get me there must be a reason for them not putting yellow line i mean if they had put yellow line here that would be good traffic flow although i have to say it's not a major road actually it could be a major road but i mean I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak for the government. I don't know why there are no yellow line. I've got people, someone who is a new driver. He's got a plate on and he's just holding, holding the traffic. Well, I can't complain because one day I was like the person. Rome was not built in a day. You know. You know when you just uh, learn learning start learning how to drive you know you're panicking i'm just gonna park next to the person i'll look the person in the face uh, you're right yeah they were white guys uh, probably polish they smile at me i smile back even though he doesn't know what i'm thinking inside my mind i'm thinking uh fucking wanka pardon my french but i'm smiling that's what they do in England, you know. That's what they do, you know. White people. That's what they do. They smile at you. They call it plastic smile. You get me? And inside there, they're telling you, oh, wanka, what a plucker. Oh, what a mopping. No disrespect to white people. Actually, it's not just white people. It's black, some black people as well. You understand? Majority of people, majority of black people always say it's white people's thing, you get me? So that's why I say that, cause, but I'm taking it back because I don't want to sound like a racist, you get me? Anyway, I'm at the shopping center, so I'm going to park the car and I'm going to make it snappy because I've been talking for the past nine minutes now. So what happened is the technical was terrible, but I had to carry on. I had to carry on and use my experience, you know, but inside me, I was thinking maybe they set it up deliberately or intentionally so that, you know, I can mess up and then 
the other because after I played, yeah, even though the dance floor was good, you understand, but I wasn't satisfied because I, I knew that I could perform better than that. You understand? There wasn't any complaint, but that's me, you know. I thought uh, the technical setup was done deliberately. You understand? But it may not. But this is me saying because I didn't feel a great uh, satisfaction in the way I played. So my performance in my own view was like 60%, whereas I could have done 120%. You get me? So things like that happen. You have DJs competing with each other. You understand? They want to perform better than you. There's no reason for that. Just go in there and do your best. Another thing that DJs always do is if they're playing first, they make sure, say for example, the DJ is a starting DJ. Starting DJ is like somebody who just started playing on the night. So early, early hours. You understand? People are just coming in so the floor is not packed or people are there. They plug, but it's the first DJ. What they do is they make sure that they play all Oh, the banging tune they play all your tunes so that when you come to you you understand you ain't got no uh, music to play although that's not an excuse that's not it might not be competition but i know some people do it deliberately i've seen and heard people fighting over that you understand that why well, come you play all the hit music at this time of the night what am i supposed to play but as an experienced dj there's always music anywhere everywhere you know so there's a way that you have to play another music or turn it around, you know, that, that's all. Experienced DJs like DJ Rough Cut, we know how to do that, you know, perfectly. You understand? People like that, we know how to do that. I'm not mentioning any other uh, DJ's name, you know. But that's all I'm saying. There's no reason or point in competing with each other. We are all DJs and we're supposed to be together one love you understand that's all i'm saying you know there's no need for aggressive competition yes it may be good blah 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 because everyone well uh, you know wants to make name and all that but there's no reason for that you all day just play the same music man play music let the crowd happy uh be happy you know that should be your aim and your mission just to work together you know that's why um in office places you 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 have these words that they call teamwork. You understand? So why can't DJs come together and then, you know, do things together and then be happy and stop back backstabbing and all that? And that is very common among DJs as well, backstabbing. I've seen DJs sitting down together, you know, drinking pepper soup, having Guinness. You get me? I've just promoted Guinness there. Guinness better sponsor this, this um, my show. You get me? So they're drinking Guinness, they're eating pepper soup together, they're talking like everything is okie-dokie, like they're happy together. And then the next minute, when they are separate, I'm hearing them talking bad about each other. I'm like, oh my God, wait a minute. These are the people who just sat together last night or a night before or last week, you know, having pepper soup, buying each other pepper soup, hugging each other. You understand? So why are they doing this behind each other's back? DJ, stop it. We are together. One love. We need to respect each other and we need to respect the profession. Nobody is better than anyone. Let the crowd judge or decide. Not you. You understand? We should be friends. We should be team. You understand? No backstabbing. No messing up or another person's set just because you want to be a hero at that party. There's no hero. The only heroes are uh, Superman and uh, who, who else? Uh, Where's this guy who always turned into green? That giant who always turned into green. can't remember his name as I talk. Yeah, Spider-Man, Superman. Those are the heroes. You understand? We are all DJs. We are all professionals. You understand? People, people love us. People, regardless, even you will know. That. I remember when I used to DJ uh, alongside with uh, my DJ partner, DJ Rothko. Me and him, we used to go out together, smash up the place. But he was doing the best job there because obviously he was better than me. He was a better DJ than me. But you get at the end of the night crowd coming to me and shake my hands well done blah 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 that's all we need then nobody's better than 
anyone. You understand? Cry don't see that. Cry just see we lot as DJs. They just see DJs. You understand? Nobody is better. Not the, you have nothing to prove to anyone. They don't even want. They don't even give a damn. I have had some DJs talking there. Oh, that DJ, I went to where he was playing. He was rubbish. What he was doing was rubbish. Then I asked, what was the dance floor like? It was good. It was packed. That's all they say. It was packed. People were dancing. I said, that's what matters. But, uh, but they, 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 they say, oh, he can't DJ. He can't mix. He can't mix. He can't do this. But he was giving, he was playing the right music at the right time and the crowd were feeling it. So that's all that should matter. You understand? Mixing, I remember back in the days, yeah, mixing wasn't older in the UK. It's just now that people are developing their skills. I remember they used to play one tune after the other, even Jamaica, they talk in between music. You understand? You you know, and the crowd are still loving it. You understand? It's all about playing the right music. Please stop backstabbing, stop hating, you understand? Do your own bit and leave the rest for God. You understand? No need to be hating. No need to be, um, well, I don't want to say no need to be competing with each other because obviously there's competition in every profession. But do it wisely. Do it reasonably. Do it intelligently. You understand? You know? I don't know why to say and I'm sure as you're watching this or doing this, a lot of things are coming in your head as well that you've seen DJs doing as well. So you might as well do me a very, very big favor. Just put the comment down there that, oh, DJ Ali, you forgot to put this. I've seen DJ doing this. I've seen DJ doing that. Well, I represent Niger DJs UK. Shout out to everyone. Thanks. For